What's up YouTube, just helping you out here. And for today's video, I'll be doing the first problem in chapter one of the Fundamentals of Physics 8th edition textbook by Halliday, Resnick, and Walker. This is the very first problem of the book. And uh, the chapter is all about measurement, which is extremely important. Measurements such as length, time, mass, and density are gonna be really important because you're gonna need all of this for future problems and without this it's going to be very difficult for you to solve problems in the future. So the very first problem it uh, wants you it wants to know how many micrometers are in one kilometer. And that's part A. So we know that one kilometer is equal to one times ten to the third meters. I'm going to use scientific notation for this because I find that is much easier and it saves room when you're doing actual physics problems. So if you have like a long equation and you write out like all the zeros, it can get kind of confusing because you have like a huge equation with a bunch of numbers. If you just do this, it stays fairly simple. And we also know that one micrometer, which is it's like written as one, and it has the Greek letter mu, meter, one mu meter. And we know that one of those is one times 10 to the negative six meters, which means that, so I scratch that, which means that there are one times 10 to the six micrometers in one meter. So, what we need to do is multiply these two numbers together. And when we do that, since it's 1 times 10 to the 3rd and 1 times 10 to the 6th, we just have to add the exponents because the base is the same. The base is both 10. So we add those together and we get 10, 1 times 10 to the 9th micrometers. All right. And so for part B, we are asked to find... Uh, what fraction of a centimeter equals one micrometer? Okay, so one centimeter is equal to 10 to negative two meters. And so we also know that one micrometer is equal to one times 10 to the, or sorry, uh, one meter that's m. One meter is equal to one times ten to the six micrometers. So again, we need to multiply those together. These two, and then we get when we do that, since we have the same base once again, we get one times ten to the negative to the fourth micrometers but it asks what fraction. So we need to put this over one. So this is gonna be one over one times 10 to the fourth micrometers. And when that's simplified, that equals one times 10 to the negative fourth micrometers. So that's the fraction of, um, what fraction of a centimeter is one micrometer. So then part C, this one's a little tougher. It asks how many micrometers are in one yard, and for this one, you need to know how many yard, how many meters are in a foot, which is not just a simple number. It's there's 0.3048 uh, meters in one foot, and we know that there's three feet in one yard. So we're gonna multiply that by three feet, and that'll equal 0.9144 meters in one yard, and since we need to know how many are in one micrometer, we know um, 0.9144 times, and we know there's 1 million micrometers. Per meter. So we multiply those together, we get 9.1 times 10 to the fifth micrometers or microns, whichever one you want to use. 
So that's it for this problem, all about measurement. If you found this video helpful, please drop a like, leave a comment. Uh, if you have an idea for a future video or you have a question about something I did, you could also do, DM me something on Instagram, which will be in the description below. And lastly, please help me out by subscribing. I'm just helping you out. See you in the next video.